Hey Aquarius, it's Leo with Enlightened Mystic Essentials. And today we are going to face your fears. Y'all thought I forgot about you? I did. I was coming. So we're going to start with the Dark Mirror Oracle. Mm -hmm. Then we are going to get some main energies. And then we are going to clarify what doorway gateway. Okay. Spirit for Aquarius as a collective, what are the fears that they will need to face at this time? Aquarius. Okay. You have obsession. Aquarius. Obsession. Where is your focus? Spirit, another fear. That Aquarius will need to face at this time. Listen, <clears throat> the last couple of readings I've been doing, right? When I say it's been hard to get these fears, it's been hard. But at the same time, those were personals. There it is. You got it. You all right? You have two. Triumph of lies. And this is the triumphal lines. Clarify with atonement. Come on, Aquarius. Whew. Let's see if I can get another one. Spirit for Aquarius as a collective. Fear or regret. Fear. Okay, got another one. Face down. All right, now here we go. Faded to suffer. You better be on the lookout for this offer. Now let's get these energy. Spirit for Aquarius in obsession. Came out quick. Angel of balance is here. Yeah, you need to bring a balance to this focus. Where's your focus? What has your eyes and your mind? Aquarius. I ain't even asked. Adjacent possibilities is clarifying triumph of lies and atonement. Fated to suffer, spirit for Aquarius. Fated to suffer. <clears throat> you have two, Aquarius. You have the seventh chakra, which is the crown, which hides the temple path for this, uh, Faded to suffer. So your reading is going to be different as well. Okay, let's go to doorway gateway. It's a lot going on. Spirit for Aquarius and obsession and angel of balance. What's the hidden wisdom that cannot be seen in the physical is there in the spiritual? Came right out <clears throat> facing you all. The diamond dreamer. Mm-hmm. All right now. Spirit for triumph of lies, atonement, and adjacent possibilities for Aquarius. Hey. Y'all see how aggressively that card flew out? It landed directly on top of y'all. Face down. The web weaver. The web weaver. Spirit for fated to suffer seven crown chakra with the temple path for Aquarius. What's the hidden wisdom? You had a card. Card. Spirit says, take, 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 take. You have the high lord of gratitude and service. The high lord of gratitude and service. So you have three fears with one clarifier. And then you have one fear with two energies. Okay. So let's get over here to this obsession. <coughs> Bless me. This is obsession. And the number here is three. This is the creation of obsession. What is holding your attention, Aquarius? What is your mind set on? Because in this image 
you have like a mirror. That's like a mirror in her hand. Right? Feminine. And then the thing about this feminine energy, it doesn't have to be literally a feminine energy. When you talk about strong and weak, mm -hmm, and you talk about masculine versus feminine, what is making you weak? Huh? And it's something going on in your head because look at this, this crown of thorns, right? And then, let me look. This looked like an elf, but this is white. This person is 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 in is dressed in white. But what's going on in your head, Aquarius? And this is a three. The creation of obsession. And then they tell you that the creation, yeah. Of the angel of balance needs to come in. What is going on? This is a situation where you're turning your back on the help. Are you serious? Because mm -hmm. see, together these make a six. That That's a balance. But you have the angel of balance looking towards the diamond dreamer. Which represents material wealth and um, true prosperity. And this uh, diamond dreamer alone is a six. So you have two sixes on the board. Six and a six. Right? But it's something that you're not seeing Aquarius. Because your focus is elsewhere. <clears throat> when you look at the mirror. The mirror could represent um, a reflection of time. Are you looking back on the past? What is going on with this mirror? Hmm? Let's see. Spirit for Aquarius. What needs to be surrendered, released, or accepted about this obsession? Dang, it came out quick. Surrender to the wisdom of your body. You know what this talks about? You sensing how you feel within yourself right it says listen to your body's messages about people or situation if you feel physically drained and uncomfortable be cautious if you are energized and happy move forward listen to the messages of your body about people or situation what has your attention huh it says if you feel physically drained and uncomfortable well that's going on up here in your head because that is a crown of thorns right it says be cautious mm -hmm. be careful it says if you are energized and happy move forward but what is going on with this mirror situation this is the moving forward if you were to move forward. And then this is a three. This is a six together. These two make nine. What is the nine? The nine is the universe. And doesn't the uh, angel of balance come from the universe? With hidden wisdom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because see this angel possesses the uh, <clears throat> wisdom and the knowledge to balance all situation and all people. And this angel wants to go over here to the true prosperity and wealth. Which is the balance. Because that angel creates the balance. And the balance is, yeah, material wealth and true prosperity. But it is something that Aquarius is not getting. They don't see. Because they're not listening to their body. Because they are too focused on what's going on in front of them. Or what's going on in their head so let's see what you're gonna gain if you pay attention so spirit when Aquarius pays attention to their bodies and their body messages about this obsession mm -hmm, and allows the angel of balance to bring forth a balance of material wealth 
and true prosperity. What will they gain here? It's all about you got two. You got three. Because you got one hiding the other. What's going on with these hidden messages, right? So let me show you the one that's on top. And I'll show you the one that's hiding behind it. Love and acceptance is hope. Right? It says love is yours. Mm -hmm. Recognize your divine worth choosing loving thoughts. Right? But what is this hope clarifying? Teacher awakens. It says you have something important to share. Oh yeah? Follow the inner call. Do not let anything stop you. What are you sharing? What are, what are you obsessed about? Love and acceptance. Huh? And then you have another one face down. Psychic insight. Odin is here. Mm -hmm. It says your third eye is open. Or it could be. See truth for what it is. Follow your intuition. Well you could see what you needed to see. But consider the fact that that thorn uh, crown is overlapping that third eye. And you, you know, that, that's not allowing you to see the possibilities. But because you are focused on whatever is in front of you in this mirror. What are you looking back on? And then it says, follow your intuition. What is your intuition? The wisdom of your body. Right? Follow your inner call. The inner call. Your inner call is the messages in which your body gives you. And what is all and within your body. Everything. You know, you got your crown. Your seven crown chakra. The, you mean the root to the crown. You need to pay attention. To open your eyes and focus. <coughs> Excuse me. And then let me tell you something about Odin. How you know when Odin's around? Odin deals with a lot of flying, um, you know, birds, um, butterflies, flying insects. That's how you know when Odin's around. And sometimes even fe feathers. It just depends on where you are and what you see or what you are paying attention to. Because see, here they tell you to, you know, to, to pay attention to your body's messages. And now you got Odin coming in here and telling you to open up, open up your spiritual eye. Because you are so focused on whatever you're focused on. Are you a person that is neglecting situation going on with your body? Literally. Because you focus on other things. Are you a person that don't have time to uh, pamper yourself or pay attention to yourself? Because you're too busy taking care of your home. Your children, your family, your job. Listen, at the end of the day, Aquarius, there is no sacrifice greater than yourself. Okay? So, when they say the angel of balance needs to come in here, literally, the angel of balance, you need to call the angel of balance forth. And balance out your situation because that's what the angel of balance is here for. Because this is the, a middle level angel. Above the common angels, but below the archangels. Okay. So now let's get over here to this um, triumph of lies and atonement. Face it. Triumph of lies. When I was looking at these cards, uh, you know, these uh, cards have moon cycles on them. And I was looking at. The moon cycle. Same moon cycle. Three quarter. But it's just the fact that one side is larger. And the other side is opposite. They're literally opposite of each other. Right? One is going towards the um, full moon. And one is going towards the new moon. Right? So let's get into this triumph of lies. This is the one here. One you. One thought. One journey. That's the one. But this card talks about someone dressing up emptiness. Uh-huh. Wearing this black outfit. 
to cover up the emptiness. But then you walking around with this crown upon your head. What is causing you to be empty inside? What are you trying to hide in mass with darkness or negativity or depression? Because, you know, black could represent anything negative. And it does represent anything negative because you did not choose to wear the white outfit today. And this card also talks about when you go amongst people, uh -huh, you put on a show for people. You have to dress up your emptiness. You know, your hurt, your hurt, your heartbreak. So what is going on with you? You walk around with your head up high. You see that crown? Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, the crown is upon your head. But you're empty inside. And facing this triumph of lies, you have atonement here. And the atonement is a four. This talks about what's in the root of you. What is in your foundation or your structure? Yeah, of you. And right now, they're saying atonement. You feeling like you have to pay for anything you do. Any, uh, you know, not mistake, but any type of movement, any type of logical action. You have to pay for that. And as a result of all these swords, you know, sticking you and you being bound here, you have to dress up that hurt and that pain. Yeah. You have to dress it up. Because here, she doesn't, this, this feminine energy, and I keep saying feminine because it is not the fact that we talking about feminine, we talking about weak. All this payment of pain is making you weak. So when you go out amongst people, you have no choice but to dress it up. Well, Leah, I got to go to work. Leah, I got to go to school. I have to go. I have to go to the store. I have to go here. So I can't. I can't. I, I have to hold my head up high, and I have to, you know, try to dress it up the best way I can. That's what this says. But in reality, I'm hurting. I, I, I have pain. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm just. I don't know what to do. I'm bound in pain. I pay for everything that I do. Whether it be you paying for it for you know for it physically, hopefully not, but literally speaking. And then you know when you talk about swords, you know, let's talk about the logic. This could be someone um verbally ab abusing you. <coughs> hopefully not physically abusing you, but emotionally abusing you. You see how many swords? But the thing about it is, all of these swords are in her back, and you have one sword that is sticking in her chest, and that is the highest one there. All of these other swords, <laughs> they're in the back, baby. Yeah. So, what's going on? Spirit. Four, Aquarius, what needs to be surrendered, released, or accepted about this triumph of lies and atonement? Why do they feel like they have to dress up the emptiness inside? Mm. Surrender the idea you can what? Fix someone. Because Aquarius is suffering. I just said physically, emotionally, hopefully not, you know, physically, emotionally, you know, verbally, any type of abuse, neglect. Yeah. Or you could be abusing yourself, right? It says it's it's time for a relationship shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. That's what it's saying. And once again you have what? Feminine energy in this card. And then the thing about this card. <clears throat> this feminine energy is dressed in green and black. Green represents abundance, growth, wealth, success, progression. 
black represents the darkness, the negativity, you know, the negative things, the depressions, the sadness. Yeah. It could also be the unknowing. But the thing about it is she sits on a vine of green leaves. And the vines is green. And then she has a green bow. Mm-hmm. With red arrows in her in her in her back pouch. Look, green vine. That is her born arrow. Yeah, that is her green cloak for the top. That is the bottom. That's black. And those are the born arrows. So red represents blood, love, or defeat. And considering the fact that we talk about relationship, mm -hmm. is it the love or is it the defeat of? Now understand when they say a relationship. A relationship doesn't necessarily have to be like, you know, two people together. A relationship could be any type of partnership, friendship, any type of relating mm -hmm, situation is that relationship. But when you have a person that you have attempted to fix and attempted to bring acknowledgement to whether it's you like it says each person must be accountable held accountable for their own healing how many times are you gonna attempt Aquarius to try to change someone <coughs> or a situation and learn that in the end you the only one who gets hurt here right yeah time for what uh it says a, it's time for a relationship shift time to switch up and then when you talk about the switching up hit clarify is the adjacent possibilities this is the balance because this is a six this is here to tell you that it's time to literally shift stop looking at what's in front of you and stop looking to what's you know, in, in, in behind you in the past. Because you you're looking in that mirror. Don't forget that. And start looking for side opportunities. Yeah. You have to start looking for ways around it. And considering the fact that she has a bow here. And she's not like aiming to shoot anything. What is she looking for? Because in reality, her head is over here to this adjacent possibility. I can't fix them, Leah. I gotta go. Okay, well, guess what, baby? Pick a door. Aquarius, pick a door. You that you have many opp opportunities and options here. And then the thing about it is, understand that you don't give yourself any doors or opportunities. The universe or the divines do that for you. So if a, if the universe is coming in here and um presenting you with doors. How could any door be wrong outside of the door in which you already are in or have had access to and you explored and they don't work no more, right? And then when I look at triumph of lies and atonement together, they make a five. That talks about a change. Five is change. Five is change. So you need to know. So, so you want to know what you need to do to get out of this pain and hurt? switch that's that's how you know i know it's easily said and done because some of you may be married and all of that but if it don't work it don't work what what they say if it ain't broke don't fix it but here they telling us that you trying to fix it because it is broke or broken aquarius and then clarifying that your hidden wisdom is the web weaver she represents synchronicities mm-hmm divine intelligence and the cause and effect and this is a four what's in the root when you talk about synchronicities and uh you know divine guidance because four is the root what's in the root of you what's in your structure what's in your foundation what brings you stability it goes right back to this yeah and uh aquarius if you're new to my channel welcome and for those who are not, welcome back, baby. So, uh, Aquarius is for the ones that are new. I read numbers, colors, talk to spirits, right? So, 
I'm going to explain this card to you. <clears throat> the main colors of this card is purple and white. And then notice that in this card that there are many, 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 many shades of purples. From the lightest to the darkest. From the lightest to the deepest of purples. Right? But see, light, the white represents the purification of clarity. Uh-huh. The purple represents power, the empowerment of you, because we talking about the root of you, right? So, when you break down the synchronicity, mm -hmm. the synchronicity that I see for you right now, when, if I want to talk numbers to you, it's sixes. This is a six, right? The diamond dreamer that talks about the material wealth and the true prosperity. These two together are six. The balance coming towards the obsession, right? And then you have another six. Here, the adjacent possibility. So you see the synchronicities. Sixes. And then when you talk about the um divine intelligence. This is part of your divine intelligence. The messages of the body. I just said from the root chakra all the way up to the crown. Yeah. You paying attention and receiving your messages. And once you pay attention to your body. You should know that uh, there's no more holding on. Because there needs to be a switch. And if you still didn't get it. How many times they got to tell you. They just said it's time for a relationship switch. Relationship. Partnership. Friendship. Career ship. Job ship. Whatever type of ship. And then. Adjacent possibilities are being presented to you from the divines. So it's time to get out of this. And then the thing about it is you don't have to get out of this if you're in some type of situation ship to go be with the next person or somebody else. Sometimes you need to just um let it alone, just leave it alone and breathe, man. You have to learn how to heal. Because that's what it said. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. Time to heal, right? So, spirit, let's see what you're going to gain. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. I think I'm getting a cold. Ah. The weather has been so crazy here. One minute we in the 30s. Then, I think today it was like 71. Horrible. All this fluctuation of... uh. The temperatures, oh, horrible. So, spirit, when Aquarius is, uh -huh, brings an acknowledgement to this atonement that they're hurting, so they're dressing up their pain, and they accept the fact that they can't change someone else, or they can't fix someone else. And they find their side possibilities or adjacent possibilities or side options, way, a way out. Because you are here to present them with the opportunity. And they accept the opportunity. What will they gain here? What will they gain? You had a card one to come out. Huh. But you had even a better one that came out. Cosmic Gateway. Yeah. It says your thoughts are magnetic. Yeah, they are. And powerful. Mm -hmm. Miraculous changes are occurring. Yeah, because you know why? You know what, the, what, what, what causes the shift? What causes the shift out of this? And let me be real clear with you, Aquarius. Even if you cannot change both of these... You have to change at least one. Because when you show the universe that you are attempting to um, better the situation. Whether it be you, you know, taking yourself out of the situation. Maybe it's you pulling back from the arguing and the fighting. Or, you know, or you just even being depressed. You still going to earn. Yeah. That's why I keep trying to tell people. You need to put forth the effort. To attempt. To attempt. 
Because your um, actions of you attempting to solve a problem. And then literally you have two here. But they're two and one. So even if you stop. Or you maybe say you just address the pain. You know the pain. <coughs> Excuse me. And you come in and you say oh my god device. Send forth the angel of balance. Divine spirit help me send forth the angel of balance. Yeah. Huh. What you think is going to happen? Shift, switch. Oh, divines. Uh, you know. Send forth. Uh, open my eyes for, so I can see the adjacent possibilities to get out of the pain or to get out of the depression. What do you think is going to happen? Because when you talk about cosmic, isn't that the universe? Yeah. That's why they say your thoughts are magnetic and powerful because you have to change how you think because right now that mental is raining heavy right now and then again your mental because you have a thorn crown on your head and swords represent logic that are stabbing you in your back and then once again even as a skeleton you have another crown upon your head you better get your thoughts and your mind together. And speak it into existence. And tell the divines or the higher ups that you need help. I just told you who to call upon. And what to ask for. Is laid out like right there. Alright. So now let's get over here to this. Fated to suffer. And then this is another three quarter moon. What y'all got going on? You got one crescent moon and three three quarters. And this is fading into the full moon. Seven. <coughs> Fated to suffer. Seven is a number of self reflection. Now, Aquarius, let me tell you something. I do have a few people who like watch my videos, like all of them. And I'm, you know, I am really big on like pointing things out to you guys because I want you all to know because I want everybody to succeed, right? But when I say it's, this never ends, this is, I think this may be the first time you've had this. I'm not sure because it's, it's a lot. Listen, it's an offer coming. But the offer that is coming, you know, is say no. Because this is not a good offer. Because see, Aquarius is the light. Right? Because we're reading for Aquarius. And then once again, what's highlighted, a feminine. Yeah, now I hope you get it now. The masculine energy, which is the stronger energy, is the negative, the dark energy. And now you have Aquarius over here in the light as the feminine energy, the weaker energy. That's why I kept saying weak, weak, weaker, feminine. Not saying that you are a female or you are feminine energy because we have feminine men too. But when I say feminine, that means weaker. Right? That's obsessed and that's that's a weakness. I ask you what has your attention. Then again you have a feminine. The weaker energy. Then you have a, a feminine energy over here. Weaker energy. You see what I mean? And then look at the web weaver. Feminine energy. But the thing about the web weaver is. The um, web weaver is a higher up. You know, higher up. So, you know, then once again, you have a feminine. And until you start paying attention to the messages of your body, you are going to be a feminine or a weaker energy compared to a person who would pay attention and know that the body responses and the body messages, you know, like me. 
I wouldn't be a feminine. I would be a masculine type energy because I sense everything. You know what I mean? But that's just how I go. So, so you have a stronger energy coming in here. But this stronger energy is a darker energy. Now listen. When I came before with these facing their fears. I had been telling different signs that you had people working with dark energies and dark spirits. With these devil contracts and these negative thoughts and these negative, negative dealings. Okay. So here you go Aquarius. Who is the dark person to you? Because see, you want if you if you don't know who this person is, watch who comes to offer you something, right? And then the thing about this offering is, if they're gonna be offering you a deal that you just cannot refuse, or it's gonna, oh that's so sweet, they really love me, cause that's the apple. So it's gonna be sweet, it's gonna be all shiny, it's gonna look all juicy. And then the thing about Aquarius, Aquarius is going to attempt to touch it. I don't even know if you had this card before. I'm not sure. <coughs> Excuse me. So understand the fact that if this offer has not came, it will. But you better say no. Mm -hmm. You better say no. Now the thing about it is you have two energies clarifying this energy. Yeah. And the two energies is the first one out. The crown chakra. The seventh crown chakra. The crown chakra. The top of your head where you receive all your spiritual messages. But of course this would be shut down because they just said in the beginning. Did I not say from the root to the seventh crown? Top of your head. Now I see why the weaker energy keeps coming out. You better open this up. And then the thing about this seven crown chakra. They, they're telling you that a change needs to occur. Whether you need to open it up so you can be receptive, receptive to, sleep, to see, receive the messages. Yeah, and then on top of that, you had Odin come here too and try try to warn Aquarius. Hey, you better open up your head. And then when he's talking about the brow because the third eye is housed in the brow. This is the brow area. This is your crown. This is the sixth chakra. This is the seventh. So now they're telling you that your sixth is not open and your seven need to change. Yeah, yeah. All those apply. Because Aquarius is just what has your attention? I asked you that. Are you just in so much pain or you have allowed so much pain that you have literally shut down Aquarius? And then they're coming here and telling you you need to look for adjacent possibilities because you can't help anyone fix anything. And you got Odin coming out. Odin don't come out a lot, honeys. But when he comes out, he comes out to speak what volumes. And down clarified with this uh, seven crown chakra here is the creation of a spiritual connection. Yeah. Spiritual connection. Once again, let's talk about these spiritual connections. Just like I explained here. When it says um, it is time for a, a relationship to, to switch. They telling you it need to switch. Now here comes the opportunity. Mm, mm, mm. Aquarius. The creation of. This is a three. What? And then in this picture you have three orbs of light. One, two, three. Huh. The creation. The balance. The yin and the yang. Yeah, I'm I'm real I'm real huge on that. Very. The balancing of the light and the dark energy. 
the feminine and the masculine, the weaker and the strong, the weak, the strong, yeah, the black, the white, the up, the down, the left, the right, need I go on, right? So what's going on? Is it that this offer that's coming in, right? <coughs> it could be an offer that's coming in to keep you stuck, blocked, hemmed up. Yeah, because these are fears. Whatever this offer is, it 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 is called we facing your fears. And you want to touch it. Look at that finger. Is that for me? Is that what you're saying? Is that for me? <laughs> yeah, it's for you, baby. And your ass. So, once again, they're telling you um, you need to change how you think. Because don't forget, they just told you that your thoughts are magnetic. Yeah, that's what Horace come here to tell you. The cosmic gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic. So you either need to change your thinking or you need to allow your crown chakra to switch from off to on. So you can receive your new relationship, partnership, friendship, whatever type of ship. Mm -hmm. So understand the fact that when I say partnership, I, that's business wise as well. Right? Because when you talk investments, you want a balance. When you talk money, when you talk anything, you want it to be a balance. And then you have the opportunity to progress. Because you have the balance or the you know the yin and the yang at the bottom. And then when you go up, that's when you start seeing these orbs of light, which is pure positive energy. Because that they are from the divine into this temple. Temple like is a a house <coughs> or a safe haven, right? A foundation or a structure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the stability of uh -huh. the creation. Mm -hmm. And then clarifying those two, you have the high lord of gratitude and service. And this is a two. Twos represent pairs, choices conversations debating secrets gateways doorways yeah but this card is talking about you being thankful or showing gratitude for a service or action that was either rendered mm -hmm, given yeah two yeah and then the thing about it is like i told you with odin you know, when you know Odin's around or Odin's trying to send you a message, it's, it's birds, it's butterflies, it's flying insects. And then once again, here in the background, you have a bird. This is a message, right? Or is this Odin coming here telling you, uh, you finally open up, you finally change the way you see things, you, you finally confirmation. And then the high lord here holds a white flower, right? So then, you know, white represents purification or clarity. But look at the sky. That cloud back there is pink and orange. Pink represents friendship. Mm-hmm. Partnership. Mm-hmm. You know, relationships. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then the orange represents open word road. No blockages. So you have a choice to receive the message of clarification of it being an open road about these friendship, partnerships, situationships, relationships. Yeah. And then this card represents itself, selflessness, humility, and conscious action. I just said <clears throat> giving thanks for the actions of the services that were given or received. And then the thing about it is this card is brown. Brown represents grounding, stabilization, you know, bringing something down to the ground where it becomes stable. Yeah. Grounding. Yeah. So let's see. 
what you're going to gain. So spirit, when Aquarius denies this, no, when Aquarius sees this opportunity, oh, sees this opportunity, an opportunity to grow. Yeah, an opportunity to grow. So when you, Aquarius, see the offer coming and you know it ain't no good for you because you have changed the way you see. Yeah, change the way you think because you want the creation of a new spiritual connection, partnership, situationship, friendship, <coughs> any type of ship. And uh, give thanks for the actions, whether it is the doorway to gateways, the way you see your options. <laughs> yeah, the way you see your options. What are you going to gain? Because doorway gateways is all about options. You have three. One fell out face up on the on the deck. And you have two that fell on the ground. Grounding here. Grounding here. <laughs> experiencing grace. When I say experiencing grace has been coming out so much. Share your gift with grace. What? You better. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. Literally. And this is perfect because even here the bird is overlooking the sea. Waves of inspiration and love. Open road in any type of situation you may be in or you may want. Because the temple path of those created <coughs> situation ships are being offered to you if you change the way you look and view things. Especially when it comes to this offer. I just said all you have to do is attempt. So try to say no. And see how you will grow. Yeah. And then <laughs> what falls on the ground grounding here. Expect miracles. Hello. <laughs> you don't see that cup right there? Okay. It says remember that only love is real. Partnership, relationship, situationship. Yeah, love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. Uh, Yeah, spirit always have our back over here with Leah. Because Leah know how to call forth the spirit to get these uh messages for you. Yeah. And then you have devotion. What? Loyalty, huh? Huh? Devotion? It says, trust your spiritual guidance. Yeah. That's what we over here do. I just said that. <laughs> Your commitment has been recognized. Yeah. Even the smallest attempt. Had I not been saying that. How many times have I said that? The smallest attempt. You, it says you are loved unconditionally. Yeah. You know why? Because the, the, the divines of the heavens. They recognize the attempt. That you put forth. The attempt to bring your focus back. The attempt to recognize your body. The attempt. The attempt. Why do you think the teacher awakens? <clears throat> and then they tell you love and um, acceptance. You have love and acceptance, right? The attempt. Even if it's not you working on two of these, you working on one of these. Presents the possibilities and opportunities of a balance. The attempting. When you attempt. That's why this divine intelligence is here. When you. I don't know if you need to attempt this. But you might need to try a little bit harder than an attempt. You might need to tell these people no. Because you don't take that apple or that sweet deal, Aquarius. But that payback. Oh my gosh. <coughs> Excuse me. It's not worth it. Look at how small that apple is. And then you say, I just want to touch it. Let me just touch it. Is that for me? Yeah. Fade to the black and see what happens. Switch this. Attempt. Attempt, but if you want the creation, <laughs> if there's no attempt, you'll do. That's why this selfless 
earnestness and humility and conscious action is here. Yeah. And then what? Experience and grace. Because the smallest attempt will be rewarded with what? Miracles. Miracles is changes. Yep. And then your devotion mm -hmm. and loyalty. You will recognize. You will recognize. And you will accept. Right? So Aquarius, that's your face in the fears. I know I'm a little bit late, but oh my God, I've been trying, right? I got here. So, I mean, outside of you focusing your attention, and taking care of what needs to be taken care of, right? Call in, please. Divine Spirit, send forth the, you know, Divine Spirit, I'm in a situation and I need you to bring forth the Angel of Balance. Yeah. Boom. Divines, Heavens, however you want to say it. I'm in a situation, I'm in hurt and I'm pain. No, da 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 da. I need you to help me with the adjacent possibilities. But see, the thing about it is, Aquarius, until this is changed, <clears throat> you won't see it. You won't receive it fully until you, you won't see it or you won't receive it because your eyes and your head is focused elsewhere. And then they come in and they try to tell you, you're trying to fix something that's broken that cannot be fixed. <coughs> so with this, all you're doing is running into a brick wall. How many times you have to hit your head, bang your head for you to understand that it's time to let go. And if you don't know no other way, you need to pray. Yeah, for a balance. And when you pray for side opportunities and adjacent possibilities, you need to also pray that um you have them open up this. If not open up all of them because they said you ain't got none of them open. You better do something. Because, I mean, you you actually have a lot of good things here. Hope, love, and acceptance. If you wake up. You know what I mean? Then you... Really? You have opportunities. But see, sometimes we block ourselves. Whether it's... Us blocking ourselves because we don't know or we don't know how. Yeah. So listen, Aquarius. I'm Leah. Mm -hmm. We're enlightened. Enlightenment of you, Aquarius. Mystic is spiritual. Or outside this physical world we live in. Mm -hmm. Essentials is Aquarius life. Aquarius journey. Aquarius. Path. Yeah. If you have any questions, you can email me. Um, I'm doing a drawing for February Aquarius. Whatever signs, um, I'll probably do the top three signs that have the most views. I'm going to pick someone from the comments to receive a free reading. It doesn't matter what type of reading you get, you know, because that is my, you know, happy Valentine's Day. So just let me know in the comments you want to enter in and we'll get it done. So <clears throat> until you receive your energies reads, because every face in their fears, you have to have an energy read to see. For me to see, I want to know who's releasing and who has attempted to turn around a situation for positivity and enlightenment of themselves, right? So we're going to see what you do. So if I was you, I would get on it, right? So, Aquarius, think positive. They just told you your thoughts were magnetic. So you need to change the way you think, right? When you think positive, you act positive, right? Because the brain leads the body. Just like your spiritual leads your physical, okay? So until next time, Aquarius... Think positive, act positive, stay positive, be positive. 
take it easy and start releasing and turning around what you need to do.